So for your aspiring medical doctors out there, there's no one symbol that is associated with medicine as the stethoscope. And this question uses a simple model to work out roughly how much this device amplifies sounds that you're hearing. So what is happening here, first of all? Well, the first thing is if you just have an ear way out here and you have a sound coming from way over there, the sound keep on spreading out. And because intensity is power over area, as that same sound is spread out over more and more area, you're going to have a smaller and smaller intensity, therefore less and less loudness that you perceive. But if you have the same sound source and you put your stethoscope next to it, which has a solid thing, even though it's flexible, we're not going to draw it as that, leading up straight into your ear, what happens is it actually channels the sound and keeps it along the solid and tries to channel all the sound into your ear canal and therefore your eardrums. So hopefully you can appreciate how the area here isn't spreading and that's why the resulting intensity that you get, the intensity with the stethoscope, it's a hundred times as big as if you didn't have it. And we're gonna use IA just to avoid I0 which is part of your decibel formula. On top of that, we get a further gain because we're collecting sound power, so to speak, over a bigger area here and having a smaller area on the other end, which is which we call the ear, I guess. And they're saying that the power the ear receive is equal to 40% of what the stethoscope is picking up. And part of the stethoscope, of course, is the intensity of the stethoscope multiplied by the area which is given to us. So with the stethoscope, what we hear in terms of intensity Putting this in as well We can keep the centimeter square because we can cancel that out top and bottom So we can see that the intensity picked up by the ear through the stethoscope is 666 times of that without the stethoscope. But what does that mean in terms of increase in decibel? Change in the decibel, of course, is the difference between the decibel of the ear, which presumably is louder, and the original one without. When you make the subtraction, recalling that based on what you know about logs, when you subtract logarithm, you end up dividing what's inside. Because that's kind of the way the power works. And you divide, you're multiplying by the reciprocal, so I0 goes away. And doing the logarithm, the sound gets to be 28 decibel higher. So roughly speaking, you can amplify something that your ear can barely hear to the level of, say, an everyday conversation, which is roughly 30 decibel. So even though the interpretation, the wording of the question might be a bit weird and tricky, I hope at least the result was interesting.